equivalent to the University of Bath's physics department. Behind me you will see a photonics experiment. This video will hopefully help you to try and understand some of the physics involved in this experiment. Firstly, I guess I should explain what photonics is. The field of photonics is all about the study and application of light. Here at the University of Bath, we have a large photonics research group whose primary interest is the application of optical fibres. Conventional optical fibre, such as the type used in the telecommunication industry, are made of two types of glass. In the centre, there is the core of the fibre, which has a higher refractive index than the area around the core, which forms the cladding. Because of the core's higher refractive index, total internal reflection occurs and the light propagates along the fibre trapped in the core. In this experiment, we are using a photonic crystal fibre, PCF for short, made here at the University of Bath. In contrast to ordinary fibre, PCF has a cladding structure made up of a regular array of air holes contained in a glass matrix. The core of the fibre is formed either by solid silica or by a large air hole, depending on the type of fibre you're making. Here in this experiment, we are using a hollow core fibre, so we have a large air hole as our core. We fabricate our PCF by a method known as the stack and draw technique. First we start off with glass tubes, which are around 2cm in diameter. These tubes are hollow, and we draw them down on our fibre drawing tower into capillaries, which are 1 or 2mm in diameter. And after drawing maybe 1 or 200 of these capillaries, we stack them all together into a hexagonal lattice. This lattice is known as the stack. We take this stack and we put it inside something known as a jacketing tube, which is another glass tube. This whole stack is then put up on the top of the fibre drawing tower and drawn down into something called a cane. We then take a cane, put that inside a further jacketing tube, return it to the tower and draw the whole structure down into fibre. The fibre drawing tower is at the centre of our fabrication process. At the top of the tower, there's a chuck for holding the fibre preform and various pipes for supplying either pressure or vacuum to the cladding structure. After putting a preform in the chuck, it's fed down gradually through the furnace at a rate of a few millimetres per minute. The furnace heats the structure up to around 2000 degrees C, at which point the glass becomes plastic and could be drawn down into the fibre structure. The fibre passes through a coating cup which applies a polymer coating to the outside of the fibre which is then cured with an ultraviolet lamp. This coating prevents any mechanical damage from occurring to the fibre. At the bottom of the tower the fibre is drawn around a capstan and then wrapped around a drum. We can draw around a kilometre of fibre from just one metre of fibre preform. In this experiment, we used 10 metres of fibre which was made in the way you just saw. The laser we're using is a green 40 milliwatt laser which operates at a wavelength of 543 nanometers. It is kept at 25 degrees centigrade by the external temperature control unit. Two mirrors are used so the laser can be aligned to the lens both in the horizontal plane and the vertical plane. The lens is required to focus the laser beam into the hollow core of our fibre. As discussed earlier, the light has propagated the full length of the fibre and upon reaching the end you can see the cross section of the fibre in the diffraction pattern on the card. So hopefully now you understand a little bit more about the field of photonics and this experiment. Thanks for watching.